Hey guys, bringing you another do-it-yourself computer video today. I have a Samsung Chromebook here, 303C. Uh, full model number is XE303C12. Uh, this is a very common Chromebook for schools. I'm going to show you today how to swap out your battery, also how to replace your motherboard. Um, you can access them the exact same way, so I put both in the same video. If you're looking for like a screen replacement or a total teardown or anything else on this model, I'll have the other videos I made for this model below in the description. Also, I put the uh, frequently asked questions down there if you have any questions. So, so to start with, uh, shut your computer off, unplug it, flip it over, and I'll show you how to get into it. So here's the bottom of your Chromebook. We're going to go around and take off all these screws. Also keep in mind they have screws under the rubber feet. As you can see there, that rubber foot's gone, you can see the screw under it. So I'm going to take out all the screws, the screws under the rubber feet. Uh, I just use a small flat head to get under these feet. They're held on by glue so they'll go back on after if you don't break them. Uh, and then I'll show you what it looks like underneath. Now that all the screws are taken off, I'm going to take my small flat metal pry tool and I'm going to place it in between the bottom case and the palm rest on that seam and gently pry it up. After you get the bottom case up, there's your battery, there's your motherboard. As in any interior computer repair, always remove the battery first to get power out of the motherboard as much as possible. So I'm going to go around to these screws and remove my battery. Now the battery port here is a very simple connection. It doesn't slide out or unclip, it just pops up. So as you remove the battery, just pull it up and it comes right out. As far as your motherboard, there are several screws holding it down. We're not going to do those first. We're going to unplug everything from your motherboard first. And I'll show you the different connections uh, that you have to undo. So the first connection I'm going to undo is here. This is coming from your touchpad. And that's a very common connector, ribbon cable connector on a motherboard. I'm going to take a small plastic pry tool. You don't want to be poking your motherboard with metal tools. So I take a plastic pry tool and I pop that clip up. So the way that works is that's a clip that folds down to secure the ribbon cable and pops up to release it. So I take my pry tool and I pop that clip up very gently, pull the ribbon out, and then I'm gonna close that clip for safety. These things are very breakable. Um, if you break it or lose it, it's very hard, if not impossible, to find another one. So uh, make sure you don't break those. Now the keyboard ribbon cable is the same kind of connector. So slide it under there and pop it up, and then slide this out. Speakers are connected right here. Resist the urge to pull on the wire. Sometimes if you pull on the wire, it comes right out of the connector um, and the connector stays in the port. So instead, I'm gonna put my fingernails on each end and, and just pull that out, just like that. Uh, right here, your power jack is connected the same way the battery was. Fairly easy, you just pop it up. Same thing with the antenna wires. That's a snap, like on an article of clothing. So it just snaps up. Just like that. And then lastly, you have your LCD cable. A very common way an LCD cable looks. So it's got a metal bar here connected to this yellow tab. I'm just gonna bend that back. And then instead of, again, don't pull on the wire, push off on the port and it comes right out of, out of the motherboard. Now there's a connection right here, but that's your CMOS battery. That's actually connected to the motherboard underneath. I'll show you when I get it out. But now that everything's unplugged, I'm just gonna go along and unscrew the motherboard. And then it slides right out like that. And there's your CMOS battery right there. Now if you're looking for replacements on these parts, on this Samsung motherboard, the part number is right there. BA92-11645A. That's your part number right there. Also, you could search for Samsung Chromebook 303C motherboard or Samsung Chromebook XE 303C12 motherboard. As far as your battery, this is an OEM Samsung battery. You have your product ID number. There's your part number. Make sure it's the right volt and ohms, uh, but that's how you would replace these components. So nice simple video there on how to take out your motherboard and your battery from that model Chromebook. Uh, if you have any questions, check out the FAQs below. If you don't see yours there, leave me a comment. I will get back to you. 
Also, if you're looking for other things to do to that model computer, check out the video links below in the description. Uh, there'll be other things like how to repair your touchpad, how to swap out your LCD, uh, other things you can do to that model. So uh, please like and share if this is helpful, and uh, subscribe if you enjoy do-it-yourself computer work. Thanks for watching, guys.